Hi, JNM here with the next Blender 2.8 sculpting video, in which I use the base mesh that we created in the previous part for stylized hard surface sculpting. I will explain the basic techniques, then I go ahead and sculpt, and you can sit back and watch it. First of all, I apply the modifiers for the two objects of the tombstone. Ok, for each one I will use the new voxel remesher then, to turn them into high poly meshes. Alright, now we have pretty dense meshes and the first technique that I want to show you is masking, to add some details to the mesh. I start by adding a box mask to the front. Ok, and when I press the control key with a mask tool selected, I can remove some parts of the mask at the borders. And now the borders for the circular parts, I use the default brush tool and again I have to press the control key and just remove the mask at the outer parts of the mesh. And don't be too fast, don't rush, take your time, it's nice, it's like painting. And for these parts here, I switch to the line stroke to remove the mask at the edges. I love it, and now I press Ctrl and I to invert the mask. And then I select the Move tool and set the pivot point to the unmasked parts. You find it here in the menu, Sculpt. Ok, and now I just move this a bit to the inside. That's pretty cool, now I remesh again, to produce smooth edges. Looks great. Ok, now let's be creative. We have to paint a mask, some kind of ornament and I don't refer to the reference anymore. I want to create something individual, so with the symmetry enabled, let's add some ornaments, ok? Just use the mask brush and paint it onto the mesh. Play around with adding and subtracting the mask, press the control key to remove the parts that you don't like. And once you're happy with it, you can again press the control and I key to invert the mask. After that, I select the move tool and just move it a bit to the outside. That's a bit too much, so I 
revert it and do it again. And that looks nice. I remesh for the smooth edges. Yeah, and I'm happy with it. And now comes the part that is quite the same for every stylized sculpting. I use the scrape brush to add stylized edges to the mesh. Once I added the stylized edges to the cross, I select the ring object and also add this stylized look and feel using the scrape brush. Ok, we still have two objects, the ring and the cross. So let's union them to one, you can use the boolean modifier. Or as I do it here, you can use a shortcut, my free fast sculpt add-on. I added the link to the add-on to the description below. It's free, just get it and have fun with it. Alright, that's it, we unioned the objects to one high poly mesh. And now I go ahead and sculpt in some details, cracks and damages using the crease brush, the draw sharp and the clay strips.
Okay, in the end I use the grab brush with the smooth fall off and move some vertices around very carefully to make the edges, the outlines, look a bit more natural and not too straight. Ok guys, we are done. With the sculpting process, you know what, I will upload this blend file to my Patreon account, you can get it from there for free, play around with it, use it as you like. If you have any questions guys, then add these to the comments below and I will try to answer as best as I can. If you want to support me, this would be great, then be my Patreon, it really helps. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support and if you like this channel, JNM, then don't forget to subscribe.